So we're looking at oceanography. We're looking at how waves form on the surface of oceans. We have here a stream table just filled with water and some blue food coloring just added in to make it a bit more realistic because the ocean is blue because of the reflection of the atmosphere. So we're looking at waves and surface waves and how they form and generally mostly they are formed from wind that moves across the surface of the ocean and the movement of the wind caused by a difference in high and low pressure in the atmosphere from pressure gradients the wind is going to move across the surface of the water and literally drag the top part of the surface of the water with it with the wind depends on the strength of the wind and the direction and the consistency of the wind and it's going to drag the surface and create ripples and then waves called surface waves or wind driven waves so if i add some wind to the surface you see here we have a little bit of capillary waves which are really tiny ripples on the surface that you find in lakes and ponds and the more you add the wind, the stronger the wind, the larger the friction, the larger the transfer of energy from the atmosphere to the oceans, and it's expressed in ocean waves. Now, if I use a hairdryer to simulate more consistent wind at different strengths, you see with the wind acting upon the water, even in this small demonstration, you see the waves begin to form, you see some reflection off the back of the stream table, and you see the wavelengths, you can see the wave period, and the waves moving and propagating across the ocean surface.